Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be notified whenever I drop a new video. So today I'm going to show you guys uh, one of the ways that I highlight and contour. One way that I highlight and contour is cream, which is um, the contour that I'm referring to. And then the other way I contour is just with powder only. So today I'm going to show you the cream and powder way and then I'll show you the other way in a later video. So if you want to see how I contour and highlight using the cream and powder method, stay tuned. you guys in a little closer so you can get a better look let's start with the product so as a primer I'm going to use NYX studio photogenic primer foundation I'm going to be using Juvia's place I am magic foundation for a highlight this is the concealer that I'm going to use max studio fix and I'm also going to use some Juvia's Place Concealer. I'm going to use Juvia's Place Multi-Purpose Foundation Stick. And this is in Benin. Maybelline Fit Me. It's just some powder. And then some loose setting powder in Morphe. It's not personal, it's not banana rich all right so first I'm going to start with my primer just gonna pour some on my finger just like that and then tap my fingers together and tap all over my face making sure I get it everywhere Squeeze a little bit on my finger and then dab all over my face. This may have actually been too much. This foundation is full coverage, meaning that it will cover any blemishes and skin perfections that you have, and you won't have to build layers. You should be able to use one layer of full coverage foundation and be good. I'm going to take a sponge and I'm going to spray it three times and dab the concealer into my skin. is the highlight. So I'm going to start the highlighting process with the MAC concealer. I'm just making a few marks under my eye just like this and I'm not getting too close to underneath my eyes here because I'm going to go on top of that with my Juvia's Place highlight which is about a shade lighter than the MAC. And I'm going to go ahead and mark my nose, a few small marks on my forehead, and a few small marks on my chin, just like that. And now, I'm going to go on top of that 
with the Juvia's. And I'm gonna get closer to my eye all the way up here. Now these concealers are also full coverage. So a little bit of these really do go a long way. And I'm not gonna mark my forehead or my nose or my chin with this because it's a lighter color. I like for these to stay pretty neutral. My forehead and my chin. I like for those to stay pretty neutral. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the Juvia's Place Foundation Stick and it is in Benin. This is the color here. You want your contour to be much darker than your highlight. There it is. So I'm gonna put this pretty much like underneath my cheekbone. If you need to, you can make the fish face. I'm gonna make the line there just like that. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I make the fish face sometimes. I don't do it all the time, but I'm going to make a fish face because I don't have naturally high cheekbones, so I'm going to have to finesse and fish face so I can see better. All right. And then I'm going to line these, my temples and the top of my forehead, just like that. Okay, that should be enough there. And... I'm gonna grab a small brush, dab into the foundation stick, and I'm gonna line my nose with this brush. I'm just gonna line alongside where I use the, um, the concealer on the sides of my nose, and I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna start up here by my brows. You don't wanna leave that part out just like that and then go down and get that part of my nose there just like that okay all right so now i am ready to blend i'm gonna use this brush by elf it's a foundation blending brush i absolutely love this brush so everything I just did here, I'm gonna blend it all together with this brush. Starting with the concealer under my eyes. Be careful as you're doing this part on your forehead. Be careful not to mess up your brows if you have done them already. Just slow down a little bit as you're approaching your brows. And I am wiping and doing circular motion at the same time. So as you can see, it's starting to blend pretty good. And I've wanted this part on my forehead. And on my cheekbones, circular motions like that. It's not personal, sorry. It's strictly business. Okay, can't forget my chin. And I'm gonna go back under my eyes and I'm gonna use this brush by Morphe. Go back under my eyes and blend this in some more. And I like to go back in with a smaller brush so I can really get in those hard to reach places. And I, it also helps to get rid of those harsh lines. Okay, I have a bit more to blend on this side. So what I'm gonna do is add a little bit more of that Benin color over here to help blend out that concealer. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the first step in setting my concealer. The Maybelline Fit Me. And I'm gonna use another fluffy brush. This is by e.l.f. This is the uh, concealer brush. It's not personal, it's strictly business. 
already put some product on it. This is the concealer brush. I'm gonna go on top of the concealer that I just blended out. And I'm gonna use tapping motions as I start to set it. Okay, I'm gonna use this everywhere that I use concealer. So under my eyes, bridge of my nose, and my forehead, and my chin. So I did lose a little bit of the contour on my nose, but that's okay, because I can go back and add that later. It's time for the, the loose setting powder. Now, normally, this is the baking stage, as you have, or as you may have heard it called before. I normally don't like to bake, but I'm gonna let, I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for like a minute or two, just as I'm finishing up the contour. So I'm gonna get my sponge, and I have some in the top right here. So I'm just gonna tap in the top. Got some of my sponge. And then put it, on top of where I just put the Maybelline. Now this can be, loose setting powder can be a bit messy. So if you need to wear something that is, um, that can protect your clothes or just wear something that you don't care about getting messy and then change using tapping motions with the with the beauty blender. And then again, my nose, forehead, and chin. I'm not gonna add more on my forehead and chin and my nose because I like those areas to be pretty neutral. Now I'm gonna go in with my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation in Coco. And I'm going to set where I contoured. And for that, I'm gonna use my Kabuki brush. This is my uh, Kabuki brush. It's just a really super fluffy, soft brush. It's pretty strong. So I'm gonna just use tapping motions along everywhere I use contour. Have my small brush again. I'm going to go in along the sides of my nose with the cocoa. So now I'm going to go ahead and wipe off this setting powder with a fluffy brush by BH Cosmetics. This is brush number one. So I'm just going to sweep, sweep that off just like that. Okay, and any excess powder that I have, I go ahead and I use my brush from e.l.f. and I get in the more hard to reach places. And just wipe that on off. Just like that. And now I'm gonna take my Kabuki brush and blend out my nose a bit more. I do not like my nose to look super harsh. I like it nice and soft. I squeeze it just like that so I can really get up in there. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use some setting spray. This is from Morphe. I'm gonna spray what I've already done. So I want it to start to set real good. Fan it a little bit. This right here, this right here basically is the gist of highlight and contour. This is how you do it. So all the steps after this are just extra steps that uh, I prefer to do. So after this, I go in with some blush and I'm going to be using Juvia's Place palette and this is my favorite color to use here so I'm going to use that today. And for my brush I'm going to be using Morphe 
M Morphe M105 and then I'm going to tap right on top of where I put the contour along my cheekbone. And lastly is highlight. So I'm going to be using Fenty Beauty in Trophy Wife. I'm going to take my highlight brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to apply the highlight basically wherever I applied the, um, the concealer. But for my cheekbones, I'm layering it on top of the blush, like right above it. Okay. Then I'm going to use a smaller brush for the bridge of my nose, my forehead and my chin. Sweep it across my nose just like that. And then get this part of my nose, the bridge. Not all of it. I get this part of the bridge, then I stop, and then I get my nose. I never take it all the way down. Okay, forehead. It's not personal, sorry. It's strictly business. And then chin. And your lips is a, a added bonus. The upper part of your top lip. So if you want to, just take a small brush just like this. So you can really get in there and line the top of your lip. Just like that. All right, setting spray for the last time. I just breathe a whole lot of that in. Go ahead and fan yourself, you can use your hands or a small palette, piece of paper, whatever. And that's pretty much it guys. That is highlighting and contouring 101. Did I say 101? 101. Highlighting and contouring 101. So I hope you all enjoyed that. I hope it was easy for you to follow. It's super, super, super easy. Uh, the more you do it, the faster you will get. Again, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share it, like, comment, and share this video. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you want to see some other kind of tutorials or if you need some other kind of tips. Don't be afraid to drop it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much again. I hope you're staying safe out there. It's a crazy, crazy, crazy time we're living in. So please, please, please stay safe. And God bless. And I will see you guys in the next video.